The Ukrainian military, it has a tough job at hand. That is to close all channels leading to Kiev to keep the Russian troops out, but at the same time keep humanitarian routes open to help its citizens evacuate. Our correspondent Anas Malik is on the ground. He sent us this report from a bridge connecting Buka region to Irpin, where the displaced residents of Kiev and Irpin are gathering. But the route is a difficult one, with many having to travel by foot along shell roads and damaged bridges. Here's a ground report. I'm currently in Bukha and this was the bridge that used to connect Irpin to Bukha onwards. But this is now completely destroyed. There's a massive evacuation that is currently uh, ongoing uh, from Irpin and a detour that has been constructed, that has been made over the river, uh, that is being used to evacuate hundreds and hundreds of people, families, elderly uh, and uh, others who are incoming. Now, what is pertinent to mention over here is the fact that it's not deemed safe to travel beyond this point for the press even. They say that there's an active sniper beyond and uh, uh, the Ukrainian forces are uh, preventing or asking for the, the press for their own safety to not go beyond a certain point. Uh, now, um, uh, we've heard active shelling being taken place over here, uh, active firing being done over here. So it is currently not deemed safe to go beyond this point of time. Uh, there was a ceasefire that was being talked about, but uh, practically it does not seem so that there is a ceasefire because we've been hearing intermittent gunfire and shelling being done. Anas Malik in Bukha, Ukraine for Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.